The Quaternary Period is a geologic time period that spans the last 2.6 million years, from the beginning of time to the present day. This era is a part of the Cenozoic period and consists of the Pleistocene Epoch, which lasted from around 2 million years ago to about 12,000 years ago, and the Holocene Epoch, which began around 12,000 years ago. Dramatic temperature changes occurred throughout the Quaternary period, affecting food supplies and leading to the extinction of numerous species. During this time, a new predator emerged, man. Let's talk about these epochs in more detail. First came the Pleistocene, and geologists date the start of this epoch as the time when the temperature cooled and ice sheets began to envelop Earth's landmasses, sometimes popularly known as the Ice Age. The piling of snow and ice, intercontinental scale glaciers, during the Pleistocene, resulted in massive sea level decreases. Dry ground was exposed in what is now the Bering Strait between Alaska and Siberia due to the lowering of sea waters. The resulting land bridge allowed animals to travel between the two continents, allowing the earliest people to arrive in the Americas. The extinct relatives of elephants, mammoths and mastodons, as well as huge ground sloths and big predators like the saber-toothed cat and short-faced bear, are among the better-known Pleistocene species. Next came the Holocene, which is the most recent geologic period. The transition between the Pleistocene and the Holocene is marked by considerable climate warming and the loss of continental glaciers. Megafauna, which are big creature, such as mammoths, mastodons, gigantic ground sloths, saber-toothed cats, and short-faced bears extinctions, also mark the end of the Pleistocene and the start of the Holocene. Because the Pleistocene's interglacial warm periods lasted longer than the time since the end of the Pleistocene, the current Holocene epoch might be another interglacial phase, with large-scale glaciers returning at some point in the future. This natural trend, however, may be disrupted by human activities, which have caused CO2 levels to rise in the atmosphere, which has been continuously rising since the Industrial Revolution. Climate and glaciation are major discussion areas of this era. Several drops in global temperature, during the glacial eras, were separated by warm, interglacial periods during the Quaternary period. At least 16 glaciations have been discovered in core samples recovered from seabeds during the Quaternary period. The Holocene epoch's present, mild and ice-free circumstances might be the result of the last glaciation's termination, or the climate could be part of an interglacial era. The Quaternary period's continually shifting climate resulted in certain environmental changes. During the Great Ice Age, fluctuations in rainfall levels linked to cyclic changes in the environment. Because of the consequent shift in boundaries between tropical forest, savanna, and desert vegetation zones, these changes in rainfall were significant across the tropics and subtropics of the planet. Plants and animals were displaced by the ice in locations where glaciers were developing and retreating, relocating to warmer areas as the ice sheets progressed. Except for the existence of megafauna such as mastodons, which have since been extinct, plant and animal life was largely the same throughout the early Quaternary period as it is now. One of the most significant events of the Quaternary era is the ascent of man. Homo erectus was the first hominid to use fire extensively. There are two theories concerning the genesis of the species. The first theory is that the species originated in Africa and then spread over Eurasia, utilizing fire and tools to exploit the colder climates. The second theory is that Homo erectus moved from Eurasia to Africa. Homo neanderthalensis lived somewhere between 200,000 and 30,000 years ago. Neanderthals were shorter, stockier, and had longer, stronger hands and arms than contemporary humans. They lived in caves, wore clothes, and utilized a variety of stone and bone tools. The oldest anatomically modern human remains, discovered in Ethiopia, are around 195,000 years old, implying that Homo sapiens evolved in Africa. They had scattered as far north as contemporary Israel by 100,000 years ago, although the earliest modern human fossils discovered farther north are just 40,000 to 60,000 years old, corresponding with a brief interglacial era. 
For a period, Homo sapiens and Homo neanderthalensis were clearly contemporaries. H. sapiens matured later than Neanderthals, according to dental data. This shows that a longer childhood allowed for more social development and knowledge and technology transmission to future generations. This may have resulted in a division of labor, allowing females and children to forage for a wider variety of food sources. When the temperature cooled again, diversification in nutrition might have been a species advantage for Homo sapiens. About 28,000 years ago, the most recent Neanderthal bones were discovered. For whatever reason, Homo sapiens survived the extreme temperature changes and dispersed around the globe, whereas Neanderthals perished. We'll be talking more about the epochs within the Quaternary era in detail in the upcoming videos. Until then, the Quaternary period can be understood as an era known for its numerous glacial expansion and retreat cycles, the extinction of many great creatures and birds, and the spread of humanity. Like the video if you found it useful. Share it with your friends and subscribe to Explified. See you in the next one.